Hey everyone, Aaron, Prepping Ohio. On my way home from work here. Uh, it's starting to get dark already, of course. Uh, I got to thinking, uh, deer season comes in this weekend, I think, bow season. I think it's like Saturday, uh, maybe Friday, I'm not sure. I took a different route home tonight. The interstate was kind of backed up this morning. I don't actually right above me where I'm at. Yeah, they got the traffic looks a little backed up there. I didn't really want to wait through that. Uh, this morning it was pretty terrible. It was backed up like four or five miles. Uh, probably more, but I ended up taking another, like, going through the interchange and going on the other state north. Uh, so that looks like it really sucked. You can see I got a custom hard hat hair do going on here. Uh, it's pretty hot today. It really sucks where we're at. We have to wear long sleeves because it's a chemical plant. The windows just start talking up. It's kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, hunting season. That's going to be fun. Uh, I think squirrel season's in. I'm not sure about rabbit or grouse yet. Why am I so fogged up here? It's kind of weird. I think a guy was blinking his lights at me too. Sorry, if you bear with me for a second. Turn the fan on. What the hell is going on? Okay, that's gooder. So, yes, there is a can of beer in my near future. In probably 10 minutes, is probably about the time it'll take me to get home. And I can kind of already hear it calling my name. It's saying, Drink me, Aaron. I miss you. I love you, Aaron. Come kiss me. Don't worry, beer. I'm on my way. Uh, yeah, I know I'm scatterbrained. I'm all over the place right now. Uh, it's been a long day. I don't actually know if I'll be able to do any hunting this weekend because I'll probably have all of my kids. And I don't really take my little guy with me out yet in the woods. I mean, we do hiking and hunting. Or not hunting, but a lot of hiking and sort of exploring. It's still really dense here. The weeds haven't really died off yet. Uh, and they won't for another month, probably. And as for squirrel hunting, there's still a lot of leaves on the trees. So it's kind of... It's pretty difficult, actually. Uh, I prefer to hunt squirrels with a 22, but I don't think that's actually legal in my area. I think I'm supposed to use a shotgun got to check the regulations. I think they were talking like they were going to try to legalize it. Their reasoning for it not being legal is the little bullet will fly pretty far and it can come down. And, and yeah, that's true. That That is dangerous. But the BBs from a shot shell comes down too, but they don't have as much velocity. And I suppose they won't kill you like a, like a 22 round might. Actually, I don't think it's legal to hunt anything with a 22 in my area. So that kind of blah. But anyway, I'm looking forward to, to bow season. I don't even know where my bow is. I remember from last year, I think my fletching is coming off my arrows. And I'm not really sure that I even did much bow hunting last year. Uh, I do remember this spring I went out and looked at one of my stands. Oh, yeah, I did bow hunt last year. But I do remember... Now this spring I went out and looked at one of my stands and a big tree fell down. Actually, I think I did a video of that. There was a tree down in front of my tr one of my tree stands. I kind of wanted to move it anyway. Uh, where I had it set, it was over top of the creek and there was like rapids underneath of it and it was kind of loud. And I could see pretty good there and there was pretty heavy traffic from the deer, but can't hear them coming, and if I cough, you know, I'm up where my sound would travel, you know. Well, uh, anyway, I gotta work on finding another place for that. When I get to it, I think, I think most season's in for like four months, something like that. I don't have my license yet, or my deer tags, or <laughs> anything like that, but, oops. But anyway, it's kind of exciting to 
know that that's coming and that time of year. They haven't harvested the corn. I don't think you can see it. But off to my right, your left, no, I, don't, I don't think you can see it. There's a giant field here and it's, the corn's starting to turn brown. It's almost harvest time. I noticed the soybeans are starting to turn yellow and brown. So they'll be harvesting them pretty soon. Uh, yep, done with summer. Tomorrow is the last day of summer. That's kind of nice. I'm not sure, but I'm, I would say it's probably a safe bet that that the stores are starting to put up their Christmas decorations for sale. For some reason, every year it seems like they do it a month before you would even consider looking for Christmas decorations. But at the same time, every year I have to buy new decorations because I can't find my old decorations. I probably got 500 feet of Christmas lights. Actually, that's probably not an exaggeration. That's probably uh, less than what I've got. Every year I gotta buy four or five more strands because I can never find the lights. I've been getting the LEDs just because, you know, I like LEDs since I started doing the solar stuff. LEDs are just easy. They don't get hot and they don't burn out so you don't have to go through and find out every single little you can test every little bulb to find out which one's making the whole friggin' strand not work. LEDs are so much better. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on with this guy? There's some guy in front of me going just kind of swerving back and forth. Maybe he's already kissed a beer. <laughs> I'll give him the space. I'll back off a little bit here. Yeah, so I gotta find something to make for dinner. I'm kinda thinking of lasagna. I think I've got a frozen lasagna. I might do that. That actually sounds terrible. I don't know. Maybe it'd probably just be like a peanut butter sandwich and a beer. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the video on the bug out bag this weekend if I can, if I can get to it. Kid permitting, of course, you know. Uh, I've been thinking about having my kids go through. We started a bug out bag thing uh, like a year or two ago. And I'm nearly 100% sure that they haven't even gone through their bags, if they even know where their bags are. Or maybe we just talked about making bags. I can't remember. I have one. And I've kind of incorporated everybody into this bag, which will be in here. As soon as it starts getting cold, I'll leave it in here through the winter. <sighs> yeah, I know, I'm all over the place, scatterbrained and all that crap. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I guess I could just end the video after this guy goes past with bright lights. What is with people with their bright lights? All right, everybody. I'm going to try to pass this guy. And I'm going to say goodnight. Ripping Ohio. Aaron, bye-bye.